Oh, I just remembered. Our subscription is a Phoenix advertiser. I've got to cancel it. Oh, thank you, darling. Nancy, what was this? Don't ask. I don't know why I have to eat eggs. Eggs every morning give you cholesterol. Who's that? Daddy. Well, Daddy was referring to his arteries, not yours. What about my arteries? They are perfect. Oh. <laughs> well, they've always worked very... Well, for me. I'm glad. Mom! Oh, just one second, darling. I'm going to get Daddy his coffee. Oh, oh this cup is dirty. Yeah. We're going to the airport together, right, Dad? Right. But we're not going on the same plane, right? Right. Why? He already explained it six times, dummy. We're going to the New Hearts Endeavor with Aunt Vera. Daddy's going to L.A. just today and coming home tonight to spend the second honeymoon trip with Mommy. It'll take lots of time driving our car to Denver, where we'll see them on Sunday. Right, Daddy? Right. You know everything. Hey, what are the movers doing with our footlocker? I don't know. Well, I told them not to touch the luggage in the hallway. I, that's where I left the footlocker. Vera, didn't I? I'll handle it. Oh, no. You finish your coffee, Walt. I will handle it. I, I must have left it in the living room with the other stuff that had to go. Slow down. They're not going anywhere. I don't know how she survives. Picking up every two years, moving an entire household from one city to another. Your sister survives because I'm organized. Well, is that the answer? Organized for both of us. That's the way she likes it. Coffee, please. Oh, Vera, just in time. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I told you. Tom Donaldson's been transferred to Denver, too. Oh, has he? Oh, that's good news, Walt. I really am very fond of Helen. And Tom. Who's Donaldson? Another corporation nomad. Oh, Walter, I had the men put the footlocker right into the uh, station wagon, so... You're lugging that thing with you in the car? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Vera, last time we moved, you know that we lost all our tax records, marriage certificate, and the baby pictures. This time they go on the honeymoon. Some honeymoon, driving a station wagon to Denver. And don't start until after you've both had a good night's rest. I'm getting the 8 o'clock plane back here. We'll be in bed by 8.10, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Vera, you do have the phone number of the hotel? Okay. When do you check in? I, I've got to, uh, well, get rid of the movers, and then um, wait for the real estate man to come, and uh, the gas has to be turned off, and, uh, and the electricity. What you do, memorize the list? Oh, that list. 
Oh, where is that list? I haven't seen that for a while. Do you suppose we popped it? I don't know, but I need it. There are phone numbers on there and... Oh, the list! Oh, Walter, you made copies. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? Don't you never talk, mister? It was over as cold. You know his nose is always running. It's like a leaky hose. I have enlarged tear ducts. Oh, sure. Oh, well, sure. that's all right, honey. Who has the plane tickets? I, I, I don't honey, know. The honey. Right here. Oh, then I did give them to you, didn't Not I? Not exactly. I found them stuck between the telephone books. Oh. Your mother's a little crazy, isn't she, kids? A little. <laughs> okay, Nancy, bye, love. Bye, bud. Bye, buddy. Oh, Vera, don't forget. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Now I forgot. What was it? Go on. Um, school. <laughs> Call the school Monday morning. I'll remember. We don't start school on Monday. It's between semesters. Well, yes, I know that, but I think if you get enrolled, both uh, of you. Honey, we that, gotta you know, go. It's a new city and yeah. all. Yes, oh, I know, I know, okay. Walter, right? Come on, sweetheart. Oh, we gotta yeah, go. Let's go. Oh, your nose, no. No, buddy. You have tissues with you, too, Vera? Come on. Okay, thanks, Vera. Bye, okay. darling. Darling. Bye, darling. Bye, Love you. Bye, sweetheart. Yes. Goodbye. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have a hot bath waiting at the hotel. Okay, darling. Bye-bye. Thank you, Walter. Have a good trip. Okay, darling. Don't work too hard. Don't worry. Have fun, all. Bye. See Bye. you. Bye.
you very much. Thank you. And enjoy your dinner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, it is. Walter, where are you? Oh, well, you're not coming, are you? Now, they're driving us out to that new borax plant in Antelope Valley. No, tonight. They want us to see it before we leave. Walter, when can you get away? Oh, well, that's not so bad. Unless they spring another surprise on us. Well, who can say? You know the way they are. If it looks like I'm going to be stuck here another day, I'll let you know first thing. Honey, I don't like the idea of you sitting around that hotel either. Well, I hate to say it, but you might have to drive up to Denver without me. Oh, no, Walter, I don't want to do that. Yes, I mind. Of course I do. If I absolutely have to. It's an interstate all the way up, so it won't be too bad. I mean, you can handle it all right. Walter, I know I can handle it. I've driven on the interstate before. On our trip to the Grand Canyon. I know you were with me in the car that time. This time you won't be. No, I'm not angry. I'm just very disappointed. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sitting here in this motel room, looking very cute, I might add. Without my husband for the second honeymoon, I mean, it's sort of... Yeah, I know, I know. Look, um, when you know where you're staying tonight, would you call me and let me know? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't matter how late. I want to hear from you. Right, I will. That's, that's right, I'll, I'll call um, Vera as soon as I hang up. Okay. I love you. I love you. Do you? Really? Okay. Bye. <coughs> Operator, would you please get me a number in Denver? Mm-hmm. 303.